Good morning from St. Kitts. It is about 7.15 a.m. We arrived at 7. All on board time is 3.30 p.m. And I am going up to the buffet. Brittany may meet me. She's not sure. She's not a big breakfast person. And I really shouldn't be either because I am definitely gaining weight on this cruise. But it's it's so good, the food. Anyway, our plan today is, of course, to walk around. It looks a lot more walkable or there's a lot of stuff in proximity to the port here in Basaret is, I believe, how you say it. And it looks like a lot of shops, restaurants, bars, all that kind of stuff. And, of course, the gauntlet of taxis and tour guides as you exit the port if nothing else we may go to the veterinary college because we've always been interested in touring ross i believe is what it's called and it's about two miles away by car so we may take a cab there so stay tuned let's start our day in saint kitts our last port day of our 10-day ultimate southern caribbean cruise on celebrity beyond featuring captain kate and cruise director shauna and a shout out to sabina our favorite celebrity activities member follow her on instagram world underscore tour underscore with underscore sabina I believe that's it, but you'll find her on there. Okay, bye. Here is St. Kitts. We're walking right next to the ship. St. Kitts. We are walking to this casino right here no we're walking we are walking off the ship there's a lot right off the ship which is nice here we might take a taxi to the ross school of veterinary check that out we're interested in that we know some people who have graduated from there and what a place to finish out your studies probably at a premium but i'm sure it's worth it Let's go check this place out. First time, St. Kitts. Look at those mountains. That's beautiful. It's bringing, it's giving Hawaii to me. I've never been. There is a Norwegian sky. We saw her yesterday in Antigua. Antigua. That's not the, I think how you really say it. It's probably windy, but let's keep walking. Hashtag Saint Kitts. So we just made it through the tourist area in the port. A lot of things aren't open yet. It's still pretty early and it is Good Friday. So that's considered a holiday here, just like in the United States to some places. There's one of the buses. That might be a tour bus, but we are looking for the bus, the actual public transportation. to Ross University uh, College of Veterinary Medicine but unfortunately we are not allowed to take a tour because it needed to be pre-arranged. I did try to pre-arrange it. I'm not that dumb. I kind of assumed that would be a requirement uh, but unfortunately the link that I was trying to use was not correct. Um, so anyways next time we're in St. Kitts I'll do a better job of trying to get there but pretty cool. It's right on the water. It's beautiful um, and they have cute cows right at the entrance. So it was only about $4 to get from here, uh, from the port, which isn't bad considering we were quoted nearly 40 um, there and back by the people who were inside of the port. But all we did was walk- a 30 each way or if 30 each this way. was closed. Oh, that's right. Okay. Like, okay. So 40 if it was closed and we couldn't do it, 60 there and back if we could. Um, 
But anyways, whatever, regardless, we just walked right outside of the port and we're able to catch like a bus slash taxi. I'm not exactly sure what we rode in uh, to get here and it was four bucks. So, you know, kind of tips to the trade. If you're not afraid of public transportation, uh, use it because if not, you're gonna, you're gonna get raked over the coals. Um, but now we have to just wait for kind of the next option so we can get back to where we were going. But we kind of also got like a little mini island tour <laughs> while we were on it. We could see the the inside of the island and kind of what it looks like. But this is really neat because I do have a lot of friends and acquaintances who have who are either going here currently or who have graduated from here and they all loved it. They loved living on the island. So if I were younger, this is where I'd be going to vet school for sure. <laughs> So we just took a public bus, but it's they're also like slash taxis. Anyways, we just took a uh, taxi from the vet school back here to the cruise port terminal. Um, definitely the most uh, interesting one. I would say he was so cool. He His rig is called the Sexy Taxi, which is like on point. He says he works 25 hours a day, eight days a week, accepts all major credit cards. Blah, 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 blah. He does everything. So next time that we're in St. Kitts, this is my boy because he was playing Backstreet Boys. Yeah. He was playing Celine Dion. He like, only charged he us had, a dollar each, too, yeah, to come back. Yeah, it was wild. So, like, we were quoted 40 60 then we ch we did five, and then this he was only two bucks. I'm so thinking he cool. owns a smaller vehicle, but he this is the main bus terminal here right next to the port, this kind of shed-looking building. Uh, and that these are kind of what the buses look like. They have green license plates, though. And they can look like any kind of minivan, but we basically took it going. The guy charged us two dollars each. Coming back, he only charged us one dollar each. The his logo on his bus said "Stay Sexy." Very nice interior, AC. It was nice. And also, FYI, if you just walk here, this is the port. Come out, make a left, walk over one bridge, which is this one I'm over right now. There's another bridge right after that bus terminal. I just saw it coming back. We're not going to walk that way. And there's a small little beach area. Uh, where you could definitely set up. I wouldn't bring too many valuables with you though because there's no place to like lock anything up. Maybe have one person stay on shore if you're swimming with all your stuff. But in case you're looking for a free walkable beach, it's definitely just right here. It was totally empty. And there's some shops and restaurants nearby. We're back in the port. Guardrails. And uh, yeah, let's keep walking. We are walking back. Some live music. Yeah, sure, man. Yeah, nice. Is this where I go? So much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was good. Uh, Florida, you mean United States? You gotta be kidding. Right up. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Hello. Yeah, yeah. School, Jack. Yeah, yeah. The Gators. That's my home school. No, no. Oh no. Oh my bad. No, no, it's not Gators. Oh, okay. No, yeah. The colors. Live, the colors are. We live. Uh, we, are, we got the same colors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gators and us got the same colors, but it's in um Coral Beach. Oh, okay. Coral Springs. Miami Garden. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right next to Opalaka Airport. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right next to Opalaka Airport. That's you, the red you, one between us. So you know it better than I do. I know, yeah. Because we're, we're up. We're, we're up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. never go to, uh, except for when we cruise. <laughs> A couple hours later and this place is bumping in comparison to what it was before there are a, a lot of people out right now but we're heading back on the ship because it's getting a little hot but uh good to know here you actually need your photo id to get back on board which luckily we did bring our passports so
damn, he looking fly, look at him. Oh, he's such a little cutie, oh. <laughs> Back on board the Celebrity Beyond in St. Kitts and Nevis. Ne Nevis, I think is what it's called. We just shopped after getting dropped off from the bus, which you saw earlier. It, the buses are like vans and they're privately owned, but they're permitted to operate as buses. And you can hail them anywhere on the street you see them stick your hand out and they'll honk at you, I think, if they can't stop. If they are stopping, it looks like they'll put their blinker on or their flashers on. And you just make sure you're on the side of the street for the way you're going. That makes sense. They do drive on the different side of the street here in St. Kitts, very British. It's a British colony, I believe. I will say that this has been the port with the most reasonable prices for shirts and stuff like this. This was $15 US, which sounds expensive, but it's actually not that far off, I think, from what it would cost in the States because it's a pure mineral-based sunscreen, which is what I've been looking for. And in other ports, something similar to that was $28. So I will say that St. Kitts has a lot of good shopping right in the port. Just go, just go to store to store and make sure you see the best deal we saw. Cheapest deal we saw for pretty cheap t-shirts, but what, there were one for $2 or five for $5. And they had all sizes. We didn't buy any of those because they are real thin, but if you've got a lot of people to shop for, we each bought a t-shirt and you bought a dress and a friendship bracelet. Good deal. Very good deals there. So let's see what we can find to do on the ship. There's a refueling boat, ship, barge. There's our Norwegian sky. And there is St. Kitt. We drove all the way like around there is where over that rise is where the college, St. Uh, Ross College of Veterinary. And I'm having another second breakfast, fruit and bacon. That's how I roll. The auto cleaner here in the buffet. <laughs> Not auto, I guess he's in there. That's cool how it Coils the rope up as he goes, or the oh, hose. Yeah. But where's it go? Oh, it's oh, just it's laying right down. Along. Yeah. Oh. He's about to start cleaning. He needs to go to our window. No, we don't have a window. He needs what? Go to our room, but we don't have a oh. window in our room. <laughs> Sunday and I'm gonna sleep through here. Of wet holes into the heart and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it burns much further. Sorry, Fendiendo Espanol. You're going on. It's going to be. Oh, Kelma! Hey! Because, you know, we are using a paper and not a material like a glove, so do not press down hard on the paper. Yeah, Aussie's got 
are rocking and rolling tonight. Whew. There's some uh, swells. Oh, we can put the level on. I just saw that. That oh, show. that'd be cool. Actually, that's a really good idea. Yeah, you definitely feel like I was propelled forward earlier to get quicker to the buffet, so I was okay mm -hmm. with it. It had to be this way. See, it is kind of doing it. There it goes. James Cameron captured this for some reason in a pretty important movie. Ooh, the ship is moving. It's not bad to us. It's not bad. It doesn't feel bad, yeah. I don't think it feels that crazy. We've definitely had worse. Yeah.